Hello and welcome to today's urgent cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we are going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to be going over the reasons of this move to the downside, the current trades that I'm in, where I am looking to take them and everything in between that you need to know right now on this Bitcoin chart. It's going to be a great video and we're going to go straight into the actions. So obviously we have seen another move to the downside here on Bitcoin. I told you in my last video, I was in a short position on Bitcoin. I was looking for lower. I'm now actually in able in a very nice position of being in a swing short on Bitcoin. I'm on a few different sculpt shorts on Bitcoin at the same time. And really, as I was saying, like the, the, the lines came together because I have been monitoring very closely the ES. I am going to be talking you through the lower term time frame here briefly. OK, and what I'm looking for the outcome of this very mini range that we're looking at. OK, but really simply, I've been placing a very, very, very key emphasis on the ES. OK, I am going to talk you through this short position that I'm in. This is a one point eight million dollar short position. I'm going to be talking you through some little tips and tactics of how you look to manage these sculpt trades. This is a very low, low term time frame sculpt trade, but currently in a currently realized profit, four thousand six hundred dollars, unrealized eight thousand three hundred dollars. See what happens by the end of this video. But anyway, where I'm going with this is, you know, I've got it managed to get myself into swing shorts in a few different sculpt short positions. And it's all because of having this plan laid out and understanding the correlation to the stock market. So how do I get be able to get into these advantageous trades? Well, it's been able to recognize context. It's been able to recognize correlations. And I had this really lovely trade set up over on uh, the ES. OK, so this is the stock market gave this I gave my team a members only live stream update really urgent like really really key update to be honest with you because the stock market was at such a massively key level and as you can see I had this up you know I had this idea well I was definitely looking for another high to be made and I mean this is just uh, this you, you, you just have to appreciate you truly have to appreciate what I'm giving here it's like this is this is like the experience and intuition that uh, it's like I impressed myself. I, I I'm not. I really don't want you to think I'm bragging, but this was like I, I impressed myself with this. Like this was a, this was a really 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 good call. Um, I basically said stock market biggest highest volume market in the world. I know what I'm going to be looking for for Bitcoin. OK, I know what I'm going to be looking for. I know what I know what's going to be occurring next, but I need to see what's happening on the stock market. I was really looking towards one more high. So I was looking for another move to the downside, another high to be made before the drop occurs. OK, and I want to just show you how this is actually remaining to play out. OK, you can see here where we actually then got another move to the downside and we come up to the high. So you can see I was looking for a drop high drop. And this is how it played out. Drop high and we've dropped all the way back down to here now by the way we've dropped all the way back down to here so we have then finally seen that drop on the stock market so upon seeing the drop on the stock market that's been able to you know for me to be able to understand okay this is very highly likely to cause a bitcoin drop which we have now seen as well so it was under the understanding i just really want you to understand this um i truly want you to understand this so let me just you know explain this calmly for you to you know comprehend i knew bitcoin was at a key level of resistance okay so just people we were we were you know hovering around range highs i knew it was a really difficult short to get into by the way it was very difficult short position to get into okay this is why i was more than happy to like be in a hedge position no you know no um you know no fear no fear uh, my and i was really judging this based off of the stock market the stock market thing was absolutely crucial absolutely crucial if the stock market had broken out then i was expecting bitcoin to break above as well okay so my only thought process would have been this okay this is going to be our key region of resistance we obviously had a trend line resistance up in here while also around our fibonacci target okay if we break that stock market could have definitely rose to the next cc above you okay this was like the ultimate place where i was thinking a lot of people are going to get wrecked well people that don't know my ideas are going to get wrecked <laughs> uh the general public not most people are going to get wrecked by this the only people that can possibly make money with me are the people that are following my ideas period period because this was a really difficult short position it was really tricky okay and you had to be ahead of the game to understand that again if you want to be ahead of the game if you want those up ideas that's what i'm giving inside of the group okay but yeah that's what i was looking at in my last members only live stream and obviously that moves us on to what we're then looking at locally so we've then seen a local breakdown okay and from that local breakdown we've now put in another mini range where really simply we go from high to low high to low and now we can look back up to range high 
So you can kind of see from that short position that I was in, the way that I manage these trades are getting into these shorts. Well, I was actually envisaging a mini range to be put on in here. So then you, you get, try and get into your short position, of course, at the range high, take profit, range low. Okay, and obviously you have a few different options here. Sculpt the long at the range low, okay, or take profit on the short and then look to short again at the range high. And you then will trade this mini range until it breaks. And that's exactly what I've done. So on that short position, it was a 1.8 million short. Again, this is just a sculpt trade. So you can get into my mind looking to sculpt the range high. Take profit one at the range low, locked in $4,600. This is guaranteed profit. Then if we break out from here, Close that short position, or make I would I would imagine around you know around three thousand dollars profit off of that trade, which is not bad for you know one hour of trading. Um, maybe more if we break down. But essentially, then I'm looking at this mini range, and then obviously what I can be doing is seeing if we can break the range high for another like kind of fake out to the upside and continue this range, or alternatively we break the range to the upside, back test, and then I'll be looking for my next level to the upside. And actually, my key level of resistance is the previous day value area high. Okay, so you might want to write this down. You might want to record what I'm saying here because, you know, these levels are really key. Of course, on top of this, you also have before um, you're going to be having the VWAP, which is, you know, a level that I'm always going to be aware of. Lately, the VWAP has been very well respected. Okay, so basically what we're looking at here on a higher term time frame then is we've seen a breakdown locally. We have not quite hit the weekly level. Okay, we have not quite hit that weekly level. We, of course, are bouncing around the CC. And you might be wondering why are we getting like a mini bounce here? And that's because the stock market's getting a mini bounce. And this is why you have to be looking at this simultaneously together. So on the left here, we got Bitcoin. I'm now going to show you the stock market on the five minute time frame. And you're going to see that pumping as well. Okay. And there you go. So you see the stock market pumping. And then afterwards, we're seeing Bitcoin move up. So that's how we can know that this range is likely to continue with another move to the upside because of the fact before Bitcoin started to bounce here, we saw the stock market bouncing. OK, so this is what I'm doing. If I'm scope trading, I've got my multi view set up. OK, we can also add in a few different ones if we want to be looking at as well. The DXY in here, you know, this is another inversely correlated asset to be trading. But you can see how at the end of the day, we're making a higher term time frame plan, okay, higher term time frame plans, executing when those plans are hit, and then making money, <laughs> then making money basically, <laughs> make the plan, trade the plan, okay, that's how I'm able to get into swing trades, again, I'm holding some swing trades right now, for lower prices, again, I also know where I'm wrong, so although I'm in short positions, I know where I'm wrong, I know wrong, quote unquote locally, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily wrong on this, this is just a range to trade, but I know where, I would say, okay, I believe that we're going to go lower here on the Bitcoin chart. Where am I now invalidated on that idea? Where would I say to myself, I believe price is going lower, but if I see this, I no longer believe that. Okay, so this is a crucial. This is crucial. If you want to be a successful trader, you need to know how to say to yourself, you know, when, are, when and why are probabilities changing? And for me, as I, as I mentioned, that would be the Previous day, I've already wrote this to my team, by the way, previous day value area high. That for me is the key level. I already had updated my team that I was in short positions from higher. So if you want to get in those positions early, well, obviously this is what I do. I only do inside of the group, okay? Now I'm coming in on here on a free YouTube video to give you some education to, ed you know, really to just try and help you out, show you the power, show you what you can learn, show you what you can achieve. But of course, you've got to put in a bit of hard work and effort for this. OK, so what we're looking at now is a local range with direct correlation with the ES. OK, direct correlation with the ES. OK, we've got this mini range to trade. We can look up for the highs of the range for a little fake out of the highs. OK, little fake out of the highs. And if we can see this range continue. Alternatively, uh, we'll see a breakout of that range. And then my key level to the upside would be the previous day value area high still. OK, of course, I get out of that short. I'm not going to be shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting if we're seeing a clear breakout. OK, so I'd really simply cut the short position that I'm in on the scope trade. More than happy with that. Already hit take profit one. Already guaranteed at least at least three thousand dollars off that trade. And, you know, we're talking about an hour of trading. OK, potentially I'll make more on that. We'll see how it goes. But, you know, this, for me, this is just a really quick video. Yeah, less than 10 minutes. This is just a quick video that I wanted to bring you to show you how we're managing higher term time frame trades, lower term time frame trades, looking at correlations, understanding greater market context. 
Okay, merging that with your Fibonacci, merging that with your volume profiles, merging that with, of course, your exo chart, you know, or e e.g. the order flow. All of this is coming together to give us these great ideas, to give us these great setups and give us these high probability trades. Okay, that's the key. That's what I wanted to talk you through in this video. What I will say is if you want to see more from me, if you want to see another update, maybe even a live stream update where I'll go live in the time and talk you through some price action, hit that like button right now. What I would say is 3,000 likes. I will go live and I will show you the trades I'm in. I will talk you through what I'm looking for next in the time as it's happening for free here on YouTube. All you need to do is smash that like button and I'll be more than happy to bring you that. So if you want to see more of me, you've got to show me that you want to see that. And uh, yeah, what I'll say is a, a free hit that like button. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. I hope that it's made sense. I want you to not think Daniel's really bearish or Daniel's really bullish. No, I'm neither bullish nor bearish. I am seamless. I am open to trading the charts. And that means longing, support, or taking profits on my shorts at support and then shorting resistance. E.g., if we move down, I am going to be looking for longs. If we move up, I'm going to be looking for shorts. I will trade the chart. Yes, I have underlying biases, but guess what? <laughs> They're pretty good at playing out very well. Um, I'm just going to leave it as that. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. If you've enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Final thing that I would say is if you are interested in trading long on Bybit, there is a new campaign um, that, they've, that they've announced, and that is now up to a $4,000 bonus if you sign up using our uh, champ chart champions team link. So that's totally up to you. No pressure, no need to commit if you don't want to. But this is an optional um, new campaign that they've released to celebrate that you can now actually trade the fan Barcelona and PSG coins, which was for me absolutely just like, wow, okay, you can trade PSG and Barcelona. It's, it's a little bit of fun there, I think. Um, but yeah, if you want to make use of that, I'll leave that in the comments down below. And I'm just going to say once again, thank you ever so much. Hope you've thoroughly enjoyed. And that's me signing out. Catch you in the next video, everybody. I love you all so much. And uh, CC Paul, send their regards. Cheers, everybody. And of course, I will say no financial advice. No financial advice in this video. Just a education, entertainment video only. So yeah, that is me signing out. Thank you ever so much. And um, yeah, goodbye, everybody. Cheers.